help me heal in a way that you can use uh, data model resource in Visual Studio to connect to the database in MySQL. So first of all, visit you need to visit the MySQL website and then click downloads and then windows. By the way, I am I am using a uh, MySQL MySQL on Windows. And I am new using MySQL. In the past I used to use a SQL Server Express. So first we need to install First we need to download the installer. So we're going to click here. And because in the server where I am hosting my website, they use uh, version 5.6. I'm not do downloading this um, version. I'm going to go for an older and I'm going to choose 5.6. So download here or here. I already did it. So, uh, MySQL Installer Web Community 5.6, MySQL 5.6, okay, so, I'm going to do a custom because I don't want to install this one because I don't know how to configure it and I'm not installing this connector because I need I need to install it later so that the version match with uh, the my SQL that data version so I'm not installing that one so I'm gonna do this custom We need the server. Workbench. We need these two. MySQL for Visual Studio. See, I'm not installing this one and I'm gonna install this connector just in case in the future maybe I need it and oh this one no I'm not gonna install this one I don't use C++ I don't use this one or these two so I'm not installing those documentation just in case I need it So that's all. Okay, now let's click next. Stand alone. I'm going to use this option. Set up a passport.
so it is installed now this is uh, the MySQL workbench okay it's working fine so now I'm gonna install the that connector net you can get the connector net um, installer let's see here my S under my SQL on Windows connectors connector net and we need the 6.10.8 connector so I'm gonna this is the 8.016 so let's go here and here select 6.10.8 678 okay download it and install it I already have it in here so I'm gonna do the installation so now now I want to show you the the libraries we are gonna need the packages we are gonna need for this to work we need the entity framework and 6602 and we are gonna need uh, MySQL data and this version here is important because um, because this has to match with this another one MySQL data entity so the version should match and that version has to match with the connector connector net has to be the same so that it works so I already installed the connector connector net so now let's create a new um, project it's gonna be a web application MBC So now um Now I'm going to install first uh let me check here. First, I'm going to install Entity Framework. Entity Framework. Now I want to show you how web config looks. Let's see.
So here in the provider providers section, um, we don't have anything related to MySQL. So let's install first MySQL data. Here. Web config. Yes. Now we need to install MySQL data entity. Web config yes. Mm -hmm. We need to re restart Visual Studio. So Let's build. Okay, so now I'm going to try to add a model. So, ADO. For example, code fears. Oh, let's try to do this because I don't have a new database. Let's connect again. Okay, so we can fix this problem going in here. Let me see. So first, I'm going to cancel, I'm going to close, and I'm going to delete this file, and I'm going to open again. I'm going to try again.
one for example okay okay so now it's working uh, the problem that I had was because uh, I installed previously my SQL and I tried to add a connection and then I cancel so uh, it was like a problem with that previous connection but uh, if you install it and don't mess with it just install it one one time that's not a, that's not gonna happen to you and if it happens uh, you already know how I fix it you just need to delete uh, the, the file here and you already see how I did it okay so let's come back here so I already connect to this database in my SQL that it was already there it's not mine so um, we can choose I'm gonna choose this one so next so here you can choose the tables that you want to get a model from and finish yes okay so now here we have the um, the classes they are they are they they are like a representation of the table tables in our database if you want all these classes inside this folder then you need to um, right click on it and add uh, the item there add the model there 